Now let's think a little bit about expressions with more than one variable. So let's say I had the expression a, a plus b. And I were to ask you, what is this expression equal to when a is equal to 5 and b and b is equal to 7? Well, in, that situ in this situation, this expression would be, instead of an a, we would have a 5. And it would be 5 plus, instead of a b, we would have we would have a 7. So it would be 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. Now let's try another expression. Let's say we had the expression 10 times x, 10 times x minus, minus 3 times, 3 times, um, I'll do a blue y, minus 3 times y. And let's think about what would this expression evaluate to when x is equal to negative 1, and when y, y is equal to 5. Well, let's just evaluate it. We'd have 10 times, 10 times instead of an x, we now know that x is equal to negative 1. It'd be 10 times negative 1, 10 times negative 1, minus 3 times 5. So 3 times instead of a y, we're going to put a 5 there minus 3 times 5. And so 10 times negative 1, that is negative 10. And we're going to subtract from that 3 times 5. You want to do the multiplication first by order of operations. That's the convention. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 5 is 15. So it's negative 10 minus 15, which is equal to negative, negative 25. And now, you have the next exercise to practice some of these a little bit more.